Today, we are continuing our two-part series on going wow about God's Word. We learned last week whether you are new or you have been Harvest Kids for a long time to be a strong Christian, you need the Word of God to grow, grow, grow. In 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 2, it says, Like newborn babies, you should long for the pure milk of God's Word. It will help you to grow up as believers. Some people don't know how to read the Bible. They don't get anything out of it or they just don't understand. Here's a simple method to help you read the Bible and get something out of it. How to prepare for the WOW method. Prepare some writing materials and get a Bible that is suitable for you. If you are six years and below, we recommend a picture Bible one that's full of Bible story, which you and your parents can read together. And if you're 7 to 12, we recommend the NIRV version. Before you read the Bible, pray that God will open your spiritual eyes and ears to read and hear what He has to say to you in His Word today. So now let's do the WOW method together. Remember, W stands for word. What it is saying, write out a verse or passage of a scripture that speaks to your heart. And today, our Bible memory verse is taken from Psalms chapter 119, verses 9 to 11. Young people can live a clean life by obeying your word. I worship you with all my heart. Don't let me walk away from your commands. I treasure your word above all else. It keeps me from sinning against you. I stands for idea. What was interesting in this passage? What do you learn? What was God saying to you? And L stands for live. How can I live it out? How does this passage apply to you? And lastly, D stands for devotion. Respond to this passage in prayer. Ask God to help you apply this scripture to your life and spend time listening to what He may be telling you. So children, each time as you read the Bible, remember to use the WOW method. I love reading the Bible since young and today I'm going to share with you some helpful tips for good Bible reading. Firstly, find the best time each day to read the Word of God. For you, is it in the morning when you wake up? Well, some children tell me that they like to read the Bible when they come back home from school. Or is it just before going to bed? Make sure that this best time is when you're alert and you can hear from God. Secondly, find a quiet place. Well, can you tell me which of this scenario do you think is the best place for you to read the Bible? Is it in front of the television or your computer? Or is it in your room where you are free from distractions? Thirdly, stay focused. You can read your Bible by starting to read short passages of scriptures and later on, you can build up more on it. You can start by reading the book of Psalms or even from the New Testament. Well, don't just flip to any page in the Bible and any money, many more. Oh, I'm going to read this today. No, no, no. But start by reading short passages of scriptures. Start by having a daily wow journal. And in this wow journal that you have, you can record down the passage of scriptures that you have written down and even what God has spoken to you through the WOW method. The fifth way, find someone that you can stay accountable. And this can be your parents, your siblings, or even your friends. And you can go to them and share with them what you have read about and encourage them what God has been speaking to you. Last but not least, you can use personal devotions to even help you. So children, I hope that all these are helpful tips for you. And let's learn to love the Word of God and read it more every day. Children, 
we taught you about the WOW method of Bible reading today and we gave you some tips how you can read your Bible. Now, do you remember what does WOW stands for? W, it stands for Word, the Word of God. I, it stands for Idea. L, it stands for Live Out the Word. And D, it stands for Devotion. How do we pray? Using the Word of God. And today, we are going to say the Bible memory verse. It might be a long verse, but let's do it together with the actions. Young people can live a clean life by obeying your word. I worship you with all my heart. Don't let me walk away from your commands. I treasure your word above all else. It keeps me from sinning against you. And it's taken from Psalms 119, verse 9 to 11. Let us pray. Dear God, I thank you for your word. I want to treasure your word in my heart so that I can obey you all the days of my life. Help me to grow in your word. Give me understanding and help me live for you. In Jesus' name we pray and all God's children say, Amen. Hello children, thank you for watching our Harvest Kids Online. I hope you have enjoyed our lesson series, Wow About God's Word. So remember to practice and do the wow method. At the same time, do follow, like, share and subscribe to Harvest Kids YouTube channel, Instagram and Facebook. See you next week at the same time.